did. And she told me she was getting her master's in positive psychology with a coaching psychology uh, subspecialty. And I was like, Ooh, I'm going to do that. And um, it was really there that I learned how to fix myself. I kind of decided to go to psychology just to learn and fix myself because I wasn't getting a lot of results with therapists. Um, and I fell in love with neurobiology and neuroscience and neuroplasticity. And I just used me as a guinea pig and I started to transform. And then um, I just was naturally good at it. Like I do have a gift for this. And I say that humbly. And my professor started giving me their overflow for their clients and the rest kind of just became history. And then in the coaching world, sometimes therapists kind of like throw up their nose at coaches. Mm -hmm. And I got really tired of that mistreatment because I'm a nerd. Like I, I've read most of the third wave um, therapies out there, most of the manuals. So like ACT, DBT, uh, cognitive behavior therapy and more. And so it was frustrating to me because I don't like the red tape of this world. I'm just going to be honest. Like, <laughs> like, it's just so baffling to me that people care about a certification more than they care about a master's degree. Like, like I, I just don't understand it. And then, I mean, I, I have the degree to be a therapist and like what you learn in that degree is kind of pathetic in my opinion. And so I decided just to become a therapist. So I, I didn't have to hear the backlash from coaches and I specialize in neuropsychotherapy and, you know, I've learned a lot and I love growing, but I just find some of the like red tape in the coaching mental health world to be really frustrating.